things that people ask me all the time is that, you know, you dropped out of high school, you know, you kind of sacrificed your youth, do you have any regrets? And I always end up saying, you know, absolutely not, because, you know, this is the, the premise of my legacy, of what I'm able to do in my life. But in your, going in your career, do you see at any point there is any regret that, 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 that you have today? No, no regret at all. If I wanted to life all over again, I will want the same life for me because I am a subtotal of those years which I have gone, which I have gone through with. If those years were not those people, I will not be sitting here and you will not be talking to me. So there is nothing that I want to change. I was, you are talking about dropout? I was not good in studies, I have told you, actually 38 percent marks. And I was not a great sports person. In fact, once my, I was running, my PT teacher told me, even if you run alone, you will come second. <laughs> <laughs> Till today, I have not been able to figure out how is it possible that if I am running alone, and I will be said second. No, I think it's fantastic. You know, that's why I did my play on stage. Uh, because when Penguin had asked me to write my autobiography, when I was assembling it, and I suddenly said, it's an interesting life. And I'm an actor, I should stage it rather than write it. Because as an out-of-work actor, the only thing that inspired me was autobiographies of people. And that autobiography is also the first half of their lives, not after they became successful. Chaplin's is the one of the most beautiful, amazing autobiographies. But you, I always used to read it only till page 320 because after that he became successful and it became boring. So what I am today is the failures that I went through, not the successes. I'm in movies for the last 26 years. I'm 55. I only remember clearly the first 26 years of my life, the last 26 years of my life have pa passed through in a blink because I was wanting, oh, three filmfare awards, let me get the fourth filmfare award. Oh, this national award, let me get this. This film has become a hit. Thank God I was not, the success of the film did not depend on my, my shoulders because it was always a hero, a typical hero. But no regrets. So what do you think? As, as time goes on, what do you want to be remembered most as, as part of your legacy? I'll answer this question when I'm 40 more years past. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I will want to be remembered. People who will remember me actually will be people, they will remember me as they will. The rest of the world, it doesn't matter how they remember me. I was passing through Amrish Puri's small board uh, it's called Amrish Puri Road. At the end of it, it will be just a road. How do you remember Sanjeev Kumar, Smita Patil, Kishore Kumar? We don't remember them. It doesn't matter to them. So I, it doesn't matter to me how people remember. If I have been kind to some people, they will always remember me. Because a kind gesture never gets unnoticed. So that's why I try my level best to be kind to people. That's it. The loss will be for people who are close to me, whether they are friends, family, or some encounter that I had. Because the people don't have time, people don't remember their parents. So where will they remember? It doesn't matter, and I'm not bitter about it. I'm sure in, in my case, usually people only have three to four movies in their obituaries. I will have about 20 because that's the graph that I have worked on. But it will not actually matter to me. I want to live this moment. This is the most important factor of my life. These are the best. How does it matter? I hope that I lived in 90 at least. There's so much to do. When you reach, when a lady reaches in her late 30s or early 40s, he or she discovers what kind of a person she is. And when a man is about in late 40s, he discovers what kind of a person I am. At that stage, you either like yourself or you don't like yourself. I like myself. I like what I've done with my life based on my whatever I've done. So then you discover, oh, now I have a thought process which needs to be channelized. So it's so much to do. A lot of people ask me, how can you do, run a foundation, run three schools, act here and go there and attend summits, etc. 
I, I always tell them what my grandfather used to tell me. A busy man has time for everything. <laughs> so, I, well, the motto I live by is life's too short, so live it up. Is there a motto you live by? No, I think life is too long. Live every moment. <laughs>